What's up Safari Nation, Happy New Year and welcome back. We'll be kicking off 2021 with a little Did You Know Thursday episode. In today's episode you're going to be learning whether or not hippos are actually sensitive to the sun, especially when there's no water around. Hippos spend a lot of their time in the water. And who can blame them? The scorching African sun can be a killer at the best of times. And besides, who wouldn't want to swim all day and party all night? But how do they protect themselves during drought when water sources are scarce or when they're moving from one water source to another during the day? In cases where there's no water for hippos to hide in, hippos can be very sensitive to the UV rays given off by the sun. But they do have a little trick up their sleeve. Hippos give off a reddish secretion through the skin, often referred to as blood sweat. The secretion doesn't just act as a sunscreen but it also helps keep the skin soft and pliable and it lubricates the hippo making movement in and under the water a lot easier. The secretion starts out colorless then upon exposure turns this reddish orange kind of color and ultimately eventually it turns brown. I apologize for the noisy lappings in the background. But anyways, it contains two acidic pigments ultimately giving its color, a red one and an orange one. Both these pigment colors absorb light in the ultraviolet spectrum, essentially creating a sunscreen effect and preventing the hippo from getting sunburn. They also ease dehydration by crystallizing and forming a protective layer over the skin. The red pigment is called hipposideric acid and is believed to have antibacterial agents within it. So it inhibits the growth of disease causing bacteria all over the skin. So hippos produce their own sunscreen in the form of a sweat. I hope it's SPF 50 eh? Cause sun's out, guns out in Africa ain't no joke. So yes, essentially hippos are sensitive to the sun, but they actually have ways of preventing any long-term or serious injury from it. As long as they don't spend any long periods of time in the sun, they'll be fine. If you have any questions about African as wildlife, shoot them in the comments below and hit the like button, smash the subscribe button and do all of those very 2021 YouTube -y things and make sure you don't miss the next one. But for now, have a great day, enjoy the rest of your week and then I will catch you in the next one. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.